Brent, vehicle crashes are the leading cause of preventable death and injury for children. It's partially because car seats are often installed incorrectly. But an event this weekend aims to help parents make sure that they're safe and ready for the next road trip. We have Jill Drake first. She's an educator at Carillion Children's Hospital joining us now in the studio to tell us about this event. Welcome. Great to have you. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. So let's talk, you know, we, Brent and I were just talking about yeah. this. You know, it's so frustrating as a parent getting these car seats in. Every car is different. Every car seat's absolutely. different. What do we need to know when it comes to car seat safety? Well, there's two different installations. First, we need to make sure that the child is installed in the car seat correctly, mm -hmm. that the harness straps are where they need to be, um, that they're nice and tight and snug. And then we need to talk about getting the car seat into the car correctly. So we, it needs to be at the correct angle. It also needs to be in the car nice and tight and snug. And the big thing is, we always say you don't know what you don't know. Yes. We talked about how complicated it is. And if mm -hmm. you do not read the instructions, you, you know, you're probably not going to get it right. And right. so we just need to make sure that everything is correct because if even just one thing wrong could really make a big difference mm -hmm. in a crash or even we tell parents and caregivers if you slam on a bra your brakes to avoid a crash that could make a big yes, difference too. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so you have a car seat right there and yes. I do want to show people the placement of, you know, that, you know, the buckle yes. and how they should fit right. into the seat. So if you have a child who's going to be in a forward facing car seat, the uh, shoulder harness straps is really important they're right at or slightly above their shoulders. If it's a child in a rear facing car seat, it's opposite because they're riding the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. It's at or slightly below the shoulder. So where that shoulder harness placement is, is really important. Anytime they're in this harness, it needs to be nice and tight and snug to where you cannot pinch any of the webbing together. And this is called a chest clip. We call it a chest clip because the only place it should ever be is on their chest. On their chest. Right at armpit level. Right. Yes. Let's talk about how snug it should be. Yep. That was the one thing that, you know, I had my children you know, in the winter months, so we had jackets, yes. but that's a no-no, right? That's a no-no now, too. So anytime your child is in a car seat, they can have nothing around them, nothing thick and heavy and padded. That harness system is what's keeping them safe and secure. Um, we used to say everybody kind of knew the two-finger rule. If you could put your two fingers under here, it's fine. But my fingers and your fingers and dad's fingers, are, they're all, all different. different. Yeah. So now we say just snug, tight enough to where it's nice and smooth and there's no um, gathering in that webbing. Yeah. You were telling me, you know, these car seats, they change yeah. all the time and then this one it just kind of rotates. rotates. Yep, this is one you install one time and you can rotate that child rear facing if you have a child that needs to be rear facing. Yes. Um, we have to rear face our ch children in the state of Virginia until they're two now. Uh -huh. Safest thing to do it longer if you can if your car seat allows it and then um, then you can just turn it around forward facing when it's time for them to go forward facing. So yeah. uh, However, great car seats, there's several companies that have them, then it turns into a booster seat. This would be the only car seat that you would ever have to buy because yeah. it does rear facing, forward facing and booster. Um, but they're a little bit more complicated. So you really need to make sure that you're reading those instructions. Yeah, absolutely. And also when the kids get to a certain size, they say, do I need the booster? Do I need, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to be in a car seat? What is the rule there? So in the state of Virginia, the law is they can come out at the age of eight. It's strictly an age. The okay. safety standard from American Academy of Pediatrics and everybody in the healthcare profession is your child needs to be at least four foot, feet, nine inches tall and around a hundred pounds. Let me stand up and show you something. Yes. Yep. This child here mm -hmm. is four feet nine. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Eight-year-old children are not this tall. No, I, they're not. No, they're not this tall. Most of the kids, according to the growth charts, do not reach that four foot nine until they're anywhere between 10, 11, 12 years of age. And the easiest way to explain that is seat belts in cars are made and manufactured for adults. And unless your child is the size of an adult, that seat belt's not going to fit them correctly. And again, it can cause potential harm. Wow. All right. So let's talk a little bit about this event. Um, what uh, what do you want people to know? This is free and open to yes, the public, right? Absolutely. So we're going to be at Target um, tomorrow uh, in Roanoke from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, it's free. Anybody can come and get their car seats checked. 80% of parents and caregivers who put their car seats in and think they have them correct do not have them incorrectly. 80%? 80%. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we That's really, an eye yeah, opener. We really want to make sure that everybody comes out. Um, don't just think you have it right. You might, and that would be great. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. But we just provide a lot of education. We'll have a lot of certified technicians out there. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing we want to say is historically people will go to fire stations and get their car seats checked. Mm -hmm. But you need to make sure that you're going someplace that has a certified car seat technician. Firefighters, police officers, they have a lot 
lot of other really important things they need to do. We have very few of them in our uh, vicinity that do those anymore. So make sure that you come out Saturday. We also, with Carilion Children's, we do car seat safety check events about once a week mm -hmm. um, throughout the area. So make sure you go to the website and check that out. Yeah, as well. so if you can't make it tomorrow, just, you know, call, yep. make sure that there's a certified yes. person available to yeah. check that. Okay, so we popped up that information. We'll also offer all that information over on our website at WDBJ7.com. Jill, thank you so much. Yes, thank all you. All right, we appreciate the service.